Good morning. Welcome to God Focus this morning. Today's episode is titled, His Mercy is New. Some of us, like myself, have been a Christian for many years, and I will be the first to tell you that during my journey, I have fallen down a few times. I've sinned and begged forgiveness. I've been unkind and spiteful and had to turn around and repent. Uh, It's not a shame to be human and fall. It is, however, a shame to stay down. Many of us have a problem of forgiving ourselves and moving on. Once we've learned how to forgive and move on, the healing can be complete. God has already forgiven us, and we're still wallowing in self-loathing. I'm not saying that we shouldn't feel bad about sinning. I'm talking about asking forgiveness, and then six months later, we're still regretting and beating ourselves up. Breaking that cycle takes understanding and prayer. Understanding that God has forgiven us, then who are we to continue the punishment? This is just a trick of the enemy to keep us tied up in knots. If we are worried about the past, we cannot be effective in the present, where God is wanting to use us. Forgive yourself and let it go. Now that we have a new start, what do we do with it? I suggest praying for God to give you direction. He created all of us for a purpose, and we often fall down when we are running from that purpose. I was called to teach and would do it in many small ways. Uh, maybe fill in a Sunday school lesson or two. Once I actually spoke at a women's conference and I remember when it was over feeling like I was doing exactly what I should be doing. It also scared me and I ran. God has now given me another chance to do what he made me to do. People's opinions really swayed me. Now I pray for God's opinion to be the only one that I hear. This is the only one that truly matters in the end. God is getting ready to do great things in our country and around this world. We are going through labor pains right now because God is trying to burst something new in each of us. What does God want to do with you? What is he wanting to bring forth in you? You were made for a purpose. Many are afraid and I understand that fear. The enemy sits on your shoulder and whispers, Who do you think you are to be doing this thing? What qualifies you to be a teacher, a minister, a song, a preacher, a prophet, a prayer warrior? As long as God calls you to the job, he will see you through it. He qualifies those he calls. He does not use perfect people. He uses flawed people. If we were able to do things in our own strength, we would not need God. If you choose to watch my channel looking for fault, you will find it. But if you listen with spiritual ears, God may use it to strengthen you. We are not the sum of our failures or successes, but the sum of the moments that we truly and fully trust in him. He will never abandon us, but we often are like Peter. We deny him. Now is not the time to be denying Christ and his will. Now is the time to be standing strong and leaning on him. Let the weak say I am strong. In Christ I can do all things. It is scary to step out in faith, but we will never reach our potential if we do not take the chance to step out in faith. Peter stepped out of the boat and he walked on the water for a moment. Many say yes, but he sank. In other words, he fell. But he had the experience of Jesus lifting him up when he fell. The others in the boat did not get the same lesson. They had to learn of God's faithfulness in other ways. Never criticize someone else for sinking. At least they're trying to walk on the water with Jesus. It is time to get out of the safety of the boat and live life out loud This is our time to shine our light. The world needs now more than ever for us to be the light that we are called to be. As I watch people struggle through all sorts of things, I'm reminded that life is not something that is wrapped up neatly with a bow. Life is messy and life is pain. Anyone who paints it as a pretty picture of unicorns and rainbows are trying to sell you something. Life is still a blessing from God, and even though we go through times of struggle and times of pain, There are lessons to be learned in every day. Even when we do not see it or feel it, God is with us and his mercies are new every day. We have been given a great gift that we often take for granted, the gift of salvation. It is the ultimate new beginning. But each day we are given a new opportunity to begin again. Every morning is a blank slate. What are we going to do with the next 24 hours in front of us? Will we pray for his direction and instruction? Or will we go rushing ahead doing our own will? Lamentations 3, 22 through 25. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. 
Great is thy faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, saith my soul. Therefore will I hope in him. The Lord is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeketh him. Our hope is in the Lord. Without him we can do nothing, but with him we can do all things. Many things could cause us to fear. If we walk in that fear, we will never reach our destiny. This is why it's important to have faith and walk in what we know to be true. God is faithful and will help us do the tasks he has asked of us if we trust and walk by faith. Fear is from the enemy and it is one of Satan's most used tools. The Bible is full of verses that tell us to not fear. Perfect love casts out fear. God is love. Therefore, it is easy to conclude if we have God, we have no reason to fear. So be bold, step out of the boat, and walk on the water. Jesus is right there to help you stay afloat. Think about what God created you to do, then go do it. Thanks for spending a little time with me. Check out my blog at www.godfocus.net. Until next time, be bold, be brave, and keep your God focus. Like, share, and subscribe for more encouragement. Have a good day.